A great day at 9 a on this Tuesday morning. I'm Nicole Malefa. Got a little double Rita there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I tried to give it to you. <laughs> and you're like, no, you. <laughs> nice to see you. Where have you been? Oh, wait, wait, where, where have, have I been? you been? <laughs> That's the big question. I was at Long. I was in Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Ah, yeah, I, was I was in the city yesterday. Yeah, you were in the city yesterday. Yeah. Tea. Tea at the Plaza Hotel. How uh, my friend it's a Sharon, whose lifetime. birthday is today, 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Sharon! She oh, joins the today? club. Yeah, today. Oh my gosh! So she wants to go to do that tea at the oh, Plaza. Oh, you gotta bring her. It's yeah. a once so in a lifetime thing. It. It's September a... 21st. We're trying to get appointment an appointment oh, for it. Oh, definitely do it. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a lot of fun. It fills up very fast though, so yeah. make some reservations. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, you might want to get out and enjoy today. Oh, it's so beautiful outside right now. The weather is taking a turn for the better. You can see first alert live radar, the only live radar in Connecticut scanning dry and according to Futurecast the clouds are going to be making a departure they're going to be going away today and we're going to be under mostly sunny skies with fairly low levels of humidity and temperatures only between 70 and 75 you're going to feel a little touch of autumn out there tonight is mainly clear and comfortable temperatures are going to be in the low 50s tonight open up the windows let some AC in excuse me let some Mother Nature's AC in. And then tomorrow, there's a little disturbance to our north. And you can see how it pinwheels a couple of scattered showers into the forecast. This is around 4 p.m. tomorrow. And then we're back to the clear sky. So it really is insignificant tomorrow. So for the rest of today, temperatures topping out between 70 and 75 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies, brighter, lower humidity, sunny clouds tomorrow. Again, maybe that passing shower. And then sunny and comfortable for Thursday with temperatures in the mid 70s so that's pretty good mm -hmm. we need to dry out yes we do yes because months worth of rain oh fell in gosh. just hours over the past couple of days it was awful 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 governor Lamont even declared a state of emergency to make funding available for families and there's a push for a federal disaster declaration as well the flooding took such a devastating toll in Oxford look at this video 65-year-old Ethelyn Joyner and 71-year-old Audrey Rostkowski were killed after being swept away in the water. Businesses are shut down, families trying to salvage items from flooded homes. Oxford School Superintendent says, for now, the first day of school is still August 28th. Good. That's a hard, that's, that. a, that's an incredible plan because I know so many of the bridges, I think there are like 10 bridges in Oxford and I think five of them have been compromised. I'm not sure, don't quote me, but that's one of the things that I've heard. And it's just simply wild to see this video oh that's gosh. coming out of that town. Also, Newtown picking up 12.17 inches of rain. That's a foot of rain. That's insane. And Monroe floodwaters washed out the Route 34 bridge near the Stevenson Dam. Look at this drone video from a viewer showing the devastation. The police chief says a replacement could take weeks or even months. And there are also safety concerns for wells in towns like mm -hmm. Simsbury, Naugatuck, and Oxford. The Department of Public Health says that wells should be tested. You should also try to dry out any waterlogged parts of your home as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And anyone in need of any assistance can always dial 211. One. We'll continue to bring you information to help keep your family safe, both on the air and on the WFSB app. All right, switching gears now. President Biden is off to a vacation after giving the keynote address at the opening of the Democratic National Convention. And his emotional speech marked a passing of the torch for the party. Take a look. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career, but I gave my best to you. For 50 years, like many of you, I've given my heart and soul to our nation. But I hope you know how grateful I am to all of you. Today, a ceremonial roll call will be held to show support for the nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris. Outside of the convention, protests continued for a second day. Police say at least four people were arrested after some demonstrators breached a security fence. Former President Barack Obama is set to speak tonight, and former President Trump and his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, are on separate tours right now of battleground states this week, and they have stops in Wisconsin and in Michigan today. Hmm.